The Post Show Show is powered by Wild Wings Sherwood Park. Don't feel like cooking? Say bucket. With Wild Wings Takeout Bucket Special, just $24.99. Wild Wings! Facebook Wild Wings Sherwood Park. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Nielsen and Fraser Poster Show. I am Dustin Nielsen. I'm Will Fraser. And that is Lieutenant Eric, but nobody cares about him. <laughs> it's brought to you by Wild Wing out in Sherwood Park. Thanks for the sponsorship. We really needed it. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's also delicious. So, uh, yes, make sure you check it out. Pat Maroon last night, at the end of the Oilers, close loss to the Ducks, uh, takes the puck up because he knows, being a former Duck, that they've been collecting the pucks from all their wins all year and putting them on a wall and making a big deal out of it. So he wants to uh, stir the pot, go like a stir the pot, right? Stir, they, you know what, in Cranbrook, side note, growing up in Cranbrook, going to Kootenai Ice Games, when they were really good, remember they won the Memorial Cup and WHL title, whenever they would score, like, half the crowd would stand up and, like, stir the big pot. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, but anyway, refocus. Uh, but that was brutal. Like, that was really bad. My, I remember one time I went with my girlfriend, and she got up and, and I looked at her, I was like, are you stirring the pot right now? Like, what is going on? Well, she was stirring the pot with you. She was stirring the pot with me. I was uncalled for. <laughs> See you later. Adios. Uh, anyway, so Pat Maroon steals the puck last night, so we thought it would be good to take a look at other things Pat Maroon can steal from the Anaheim Ducks. That's right. Uh, let's start with Hampus Lindholm. Would make sense. Oh, Top pairing guy? You think he'd be a top pairing guy here in Edmonton? I think he's a very good hockey player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all joking aside, though, I have to slant home with me a nice pick. Right. Um, how about, I like this one, Cam Fowler. Sure. Why not? Why not? Left-handed shot defenseman, but there's some offensive upside. I think that's still untapped. They could find room for him. Yeah, like we could just name all the defensemen, but let's get serious. Yeah. Uh, Sammy Vatnin. Well, first of all, he's light. He's So it'd be easier to steal. <sighs> yeah, him. Maroon could put him like under a trench coat yeah. and get him out of that other room, I right. don't think. Yeah. He's also on the big board. He is on the big it's, board. It's uh, back over here in the corner. Big Sammy board! Vatnin is number... Yeah, pull up don't. here. Pull up. Careful! You want him to get handsy with Careful the big Careful with the big board. There it is. Sammy Vatnin. Right there. Now put it back down. Uh, all right, let's 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 change the angle here. Let's look at some other yeah. things. Uh, Josh Manson, who's been a nice revelation on that back end. Young guy. Like him. He looks a little squirmy to me, though. You think so? Yeah. Okay, That's all right. That's a tough steal. That's under, yeah, you're right. That might be tough to pull off. Yeah. Uh, how about Shea Theodore? Sure. Right? Yeah. Hasn't been there all season. That's right. They might not even know he's right. gone missing. Yeah, you could probably have him in Oilers silks for three days yeah. before Anaheim would notice. Who is this? Just Adam Clendenning? Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Nope. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's get serious for one second here. Mm -hmm. Simone Dupre. Sure. Why not? Right. And we could start calling him Simon. Simon Despres. <laughs> I think that's probably what he would be called here because this is Alberta. Alberta. We don't pronounce like when David Perron was here. He was David Perron. Yeah. Let's get to an email. <laughs> I really like that Lindholm one, though. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, guys, you think Maroon could steal Bieksa or Clayton Stoner? Signed, no one. That's a really good point. Sorry, those guys just don't fit in. <laughs> now, could they play on this blue line? Yes. Yes, they could. Actually, they'd look really at home on this blue yeah, line. Yeah, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they would. That's true. Uh, that's going to do it for another edition of the Nielsen Fraser Post Show. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.